Okay, it's the third day of uh, the Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, I got the idea to do this show. It's sort of been kicking it around for in my mind for a couple of uh, months to sort of figure out uh, uh, should I should or not do the show. And I looked at uh, a lot of different shows on the internet, uh, some like this. The one that came across that sort of really sort of stuck in my mind, I went back to over and over again, are, is uh, Nerds RL. And I'll post a link in the description below. Um, but now I'm on my third day, and uh, things seem to be going okay. Um, I'm trying to think of ideas to put on here, but uh, uh, it just basically, as my day goes by, some days are more more things happen in one day than compared to the next day so it really depends uh, I'm gonna try doing um, a vlog as I uh, walk to do my food shopping uh, it's about uh, 15 below zero Celsius here uh, uh, in Canada that's a, just about the zero mark Fahrenheit uh, so I'm gonna try and walk in this weather to do my food shopping uh, and I will take you with me uh, so that you can see where I go food shopping and uh, I don't know if I'll turn it on inside the store because I don't want to attract too much attention uh, to myself in the store uh, walking around with a, with a uh, video camera rolling uh, so uh, I'll see how I cut it when I come back and then uh, I'll try to post it online for the evening um, yesterday was sort of uh, a more of a laundry day doing more chores than anything else uh, so I spent most of the day doing laundry cleaning up uh, did some dishes uh, I the research work that I did do yesterday uh, was in the organic chemistry of medicine uh, I was looking at uh, some of the uh, di 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 the digestive processes and some of uh, the organic chemistry uh, that goes into uh, healing uh, wounds within the uh, small intestine and then into the larger intestine and, and even into the into the colon uh, for a variety of different diseases. Uh, it was an interesting uh, uh, look to see what, uh, uh, from an organic chemistry point of view, what the uh, gastric juices actually that that that, that, that do the digestion in the stomach, what they actually produce, uh, considering that your uh, stomach acids are essentially hydrochloric acid. Um, so that means <laughs> you are and can produce uh, you can produce uh, from a or organic chemistry standpoint you can produce uh, chlorine gas in your system uh, because the amines uh, from the amino acids uh, contain the ammonia molecule in it you can have ammonia within your system uh, uh, mixed together with the chloride you can get ammonia chloride which is bleach inside your system uh, so when you look at uh, some of the diseases that occur within the digestive tract something like, like ulcers and, and, and different uh, uh, bleeding zones uh, you can see how they actually occur when you consider the amount of acids and caustic uh, elements that are within the stomach uh, and the question is well okay well when that's repaired because you can't put a band-aid on the inside like that uh, in order, when, when you have these injuries and you want to repair it, I should say, uh, you can't put a band-aid on the inside. So you have to uh, think of the chemistry. And what you want to do is you can't eliminate the acids from the system. All you can do is reduce them. And that is the big, the, sort of the big, the big uh, uh, test when you're treating a patient is how do you successfully reduce the acids to a point that the body can heal itself while still providing the patient with enough nutrients and that's sort of the big question here and you know I ask people particularly the uh, older people who have uh, who more often have uh, gastric issues um, uh, to sort of monitor and record their dietary habits and when they particularly have these problems uh, what they eat what happens with their eating patterns or, or uh, and how long does it take for them to get back to eating their normal diet uh, or whatever they consider to be their normal diet and from this I'm sort of able to see how uh, things are resolved or actually not resolved and result in further problems uh, and that's sort of giving me ideas in terms of uh, 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 how to make food 
uh, some putting uh, some. I'm um, actually when I go food shopping, on my list is uh, uh, not necessarily the 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 uh, a, a chemical list, but it's sort of which food items would promote what food chemistry or what, what organic chemistry within the system. Uh, so that's how I end up uh, fixing up my my uh, my uh, food shopping list, and that's what I'm be doing today. So a uh, little bit later on, uh, I will be uh, hopefully posting a uh, walk video uh, to the food shop and back, uh, and that way uh, you can get an idea of uh, what the place looks like around here. Anyways, okay, so that's it for now. I'll maybe talk to you a bit later, a little bit later on.